What is up guys, welcome back to an episode of F122 Mobile Racing Career Mode. We are here for episode number 6 today for the Spanish Grand Prix in season 2. If you guys didn't miss the previous episode at the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix, the opener of season 2, definitely be sure to go check that one up before this one. A very entertaining episode as we got to see how this Alfa Romeo competed against the others. As you can see we claimed uh, 6 total car blueprints then. We're coming to the Spanish Grand Prix, it should be an interesting race. We have had some great success right here, so hopefully we can carry the momentum into this race and score some good points. Let's go to qualifying. So here's the qualifying order so far, it's Leclerc, Sainz, Verstappen, Perez, Hamilton, Norris, Russell, Ricardo, Ocon, and Alonso who put in the top 10 Bottas just outside there of the top 10 in P11. Let's see if we can spoil the party here as we go across the line to start our one and only hot lap here. DRS wide open down the main straight, coming towards turn 1 then. Let's see if we can uh, get a good run through here, down to third gear, clip that apex and get a good run through here, a nice flowing set of corners. Now through the long right hander up turn three, flat out, uh, barely any need to turn here. Don't want to turn too much because we don't have to scrub off too much speed. I do not come towards the start of second two and towards turn four, down to fourth gear. Having to take a decent line through here though, getting a little snap bonus here at the exit as he touched the grass there. Not the greatest line though, he drifted out pretty wide. 23-0 for the first second, so we have to be a little careful uh, just where we put our car then for the start of tomorrow's race and on the grid and uh, coming towards this chicane here down to third gear interesting corner that is uh, going pretty deep but at the same time it's a corner that uh, really drops away from you so you don't want to shy away from the apex there as we come towards the third sector here purple to the second sector here taking a nice easy into this corner trying to get the car turned in just roll it into the corner that comes to this right hand here is it hard to take it if it's flat out or not not taking it flat out just to make sure you are confident in your car you could take that flat out, but it is hard to do so, especially with the car that's new like this one. As we come out of the we had a decent run through there. Now onto the last corner here. Can we get a good run out of here as we get DRS wide open up, uh, charging towards the line. Where it's going to put us with tomorrow's race across the line. And that's going to be enough for pole position just about, just ahead of the two Ferraris. Ahead also of Verstappen, Paris, Hamilton, North, Ricardo, and Alcon. It's a great result for us so far, but let's hope we can carry that result into the race. So here's the start of grid then, it's us, Leclerc, Sainz, Perez, Verstappen, Hamilton, Norris, Russell, Ricardo, Alcon, Alonso, Bottas, Gasly, Sahara, Schumacher, Magnussen, Latifi, Stroll, Albon, and Vettel will round up the grid then. But here we go then, to five, red lights, four, the Spanish Grand Prix, leading off from pole position, it's lights out! And away we go, we were held there for quite a long time, we did get a, a perfect start though apparently, but not the start we did as Leclerc gets away from us. Let's see if we can keep behind the Red Bulls and the Ferrari there of Carlos Sainz as they try to find their way through into what's turn one. We're going to stay just ahead of them. Leclerc leads the way there. Then comes us. Then comes Sergio Perez. Lewis Hamilton has made his way up into fourth position, but now it's quickly overtaken them by the other Ferrari of Carlos Sainz. Where is Max Verstappen going? He's supposed to fall behind uh, from all the traffic here. He has now come towards sector two. Still stuck behind Shaw and Claire. We're pretty quick through the corners here, but let's see if we can keep up with them on the straights, as that is where the Ferrari is the strongest at. In towards the left handed here. A bit of a screen freeze there as he plowed straight into the back of him. Not sure why he was breaking there so early. And we do have some good confidence on the brakes, so maybe that's why. Coming to the left handed here, staying in fourth gear there, getting a nice run through there. We're going to stick behind Shaw and Claire through this long right hander here. Let's see if we can get a good run out of him. He touched the outside curb. That is a curb you don't want to touch because you can lose a bit of momentum apparently but now coming towards the left hand we're going to up the inside then of Charles Leclerc and just like that we move into P1 back into P1 I should say for the Spanish Grand Prix two things we take this flat up no we cannot just trying to hug the apex here but now we have a lot of defending to do from this Ferrari of Charles Leclerc that Ferrari again is very quick in the straight line and it's pretty quick through the corners as well and uh, it can keep up with us and keep us modest here now come onto the main straight here to start lap 2 then of the Spanish Grand Prix. You're going to have to look behind you just to make sure that Charles Leclerc doesn't decide to try and sneak up and move on the inside. See, we're parking the car in the middle of the circuit just to make sure he does it. See, he is gaining on the time. You can look at the delta time already down to 4 tenths. It was at 8 tenths at the start of the straight here. He's really putting on the pressure here. We're coming through the S section here and through this long right hand. You can see the time slowly goes back up, but then slowly goes back down. I was just hovering around uh, just over 6 tenths there. Coming towards the right hand. Though. Can we open up the gap here? Down the fourth gear, clipping the apex, getting a decent run through. Having to get on the brakes just to be sure we don't go flying off into the gravel here. And it's towards a slow left hander here. Down the third gear, try to go wide and tighten up for the apex. Uh, didn't really work out as much as I planned, but it's alright. As now come into the left hander here, down the third gear, clip both apexes, and now coming towards the flat out right hander here. 
So apparently the AI see to touch that outside curve. You don't want to touch that because it's going to slow you down. As you can see, the delta now skyrockets to about a second there. As I come into the left hander here, down a second here, clip that apex. Pretty hard apex to spot. Consider the cars are not very good at the low speed corners. So you gotta be careful there. Can we take this corner flat out? Yes, we can. Just about there. Not losing too much speed. Coming to this right hander here, down a third gear. Now coming into this chicane for the second time here. Getting a decent run out of there. And that will start the final lap. Then another Spanish strong free here. We have control this race so far. We gotta make sure we keep it clean up for one more lap. Just so that Charles Leclerc and the Ferrari didn't decide to spoil our party here. It'd be great to get a first win in the Alfa Romeo here. A car that really is not meant to challenge for these kind of wins. They can't challenge for outside podiums in the outside chance in our uh, position. But at the same time, you know, where Bota says he's just hovering outside the top 10. If he just got a better car, he would be in a position to score many, many points. It's kind of unlike real life though. The real life Alfa Romeo has been very, very consistent, although, albeit with a couple reliability issues, Valtteri Bottas, though, in the Alfa Romeo, has done a stellar job there. So, it's a little disappointing to see him not score too many points here, but what can you do about it? Uh, hopefully, maybe in a future update, we'll get a patch for the Alfa Romeo, and maybe there'll be a better team, along with Hasbro. Hasbro, for some reason, have not been a good team at all. Even though, real life, again, they've been a very good team, just been uh, hampered down a little bit by the reliability issue. So, again, Hopefully there is a patch that allows Alfa Romeo and Haas to be slowly elevated further up the midfield as well. But then coming into the final sector here, flat out through here. Uh, yellow first sector though, but purple second sector. So finding the pace here in the Alfa Romeo. Can we hold it through the slash chicane for one last time? Yes we can. As we come out of the final corner, we're going to celebrate our first victory then of the series. And with Alfa Romeo here in Spain, we have dominated this race. We spent the finish, took the lead then back from Charles Leclerc, and we take home the victory and the fastest lap ahead of Leclerc, Paris, Sainz, Verstappen, Hamilton, Russell, Ocon, Alonso, and Norris complete the top 10. Thank you all so much for joining. If you guys did enjoy, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.